hello welcome to my channel this video we'll see what is aspect oriented programming how we'll implement this aop in spring boot applications so first of all what is aop so aop is a methodology so for example there is an e-commerce application so if you want to place the order so what steps you need to follow first you need to log into the application then you can search for the product then you can add product to the carts if you want to place multiple items then you can add the multiple items into the cart then you can do the payments after that you will get the successful confirmation from the application saying that your order placed successfully so where our aspect oriented programming is help you on this we'll see this use case today so if you see the key concepts on AOP, aspect, advice, joint point, point cut, and waving. These are the five key concepts here. So see the cross-cutting concerns. What are the cross-cutting concerns? Just now we discussed about e-commerce application, right? So one is for logging. So if you want to track this uh, user, which is the product he's selecting and which are the models he's using in this e-commerce application, right? So in this case, you want to write the logs. You need to write each and everywhere uh, inside the methods so it is a very difficult to handle this one in this case we separate this logging functionality from the business logic and we'll write this logging functionality is a separately so this is one kind of cross cutting concern we implement in the separately without including into the business logic same way security also so if you want to perform any authentication and authorization different modules in the application so this case also you need to write this authentication authorization login and each and every model so instead of writing into that the multiple modules with the same logic we can separate this logic from the uh, business and we can write separately so in this case we can write only one time that application uh, in the application that code will run as per the logic where you want to execute so this is also one kind of cross cutting concerns same way transaction management exception handling caching these are all comes under cross cutting concerns okay now we'll see the demo how to create spring boot application using cross cutting concern so first for that one we need to go to the spring initializer and we need to add these dependencies so in this application i'm using s2 database this is in memory database we'll use this in memory database and we'll perform this uh, spring aop Okay, you can go to the start.spring.io. So here I am selecting Java 70. So service name I am giving employee AOP. Okay, I am using Java 70 and uh, coming to the dependencies, I will select web H2 database. This is the database, memory database I am using and Spring Data JPA and lumbok these are the four dependencies i'm selecting i'm generating this project so it is generated now we'll import this one into intellij id this is the first time we are loading so first you need to check the build so mvn for this one you can go to the marvin click on this uh, execute marvin goals and here you can set marvin install then double click this one and it will start executing this so it will check and it will load all the dependencies into the application now if you see build is success so there is no issue in the plugins now we'll try to add database properties once into this and also we'll confirm all this day it is connecting to the database or not so for that one we need to go to that uh, main resources application dot properties here we need to specify our in memory database properties so if you want you can go to my medium page and here i mentioned the database properties also you can just copy these database properties so here is my database properties okay come here and mention here so this is application dot name 
so application name is already defined like employee AOP so these are the remaining things so I'm I need to use test DB and this is the driver class name username and password so this is the properties required to connect H2 database now you can run again this application and see it is able to connect to the database or not so these things you need to check uh, before uh, writing your uh, functionality because at the time or the end of the time if you are running there is issue with the database connections then again you need to check all these things for example see it is listening so identified process listening h080 there is a issue already it is used okay so we'll just change my server port number server port i'll give 9898 i'll rerun this application run this application one, once again and we'll see this okay now it is writing some database logs here so h2 console available in h2 iphone console okay so for that one you need to go localhost 9898 slash h2 console to see the database is up and running or not so tom can is starting 9898 so for that one you need to go to that http colon localhost 9898 slash h2 console see now it is open the console for h2 database so what is the database i'm using test.dv this is the database uh, properties i mentioned this is the username password is password you can connect so here our in memory database is available no tables in this uh, h2 database and we'll start writing our functionality in our parallel application and we'll to create that uh, tables also okay okay come down so we'll stop this service now so in this case we are not using any lombok we'll implement the this aop on the logging mechanism okay so first we need to create our packages to create the packages you can right click and click on the package now what is the packages are required controller and another one is we need one entity another one is repository and service okay these are the things are right one more thing is we can use the con config also okay so these are the packages is given now we'll try to implement one by one classes related to these things okay so first we'll create employee entity so in this entity i'm using id first name last name and email and after that we'll create repository employee repository extend jpa repository employee and long as well data type it is having so and then we'll create the employee service in the employee service i'm performing card operations same create employee update employee get all employee get employee by id and delete so create employee will create one employee into the database update employee first it will check this employee id is available in the database or not if not available then it will return null if available we are updating the employee details else you can uh, delete the employee by using the id and you can able to delete all the employees also right now i'm using only employee id to delete you can write your query to delete all the employees also okay and get all employees and get employee by id okay so this is our uh, employee service and here main aspect this is the main one okay this will handle entire module okay this is the if you want to enable uh, aspect oriented programming in your application here we need to enable class level annotation like annotation aspect here we are using annotation before means this package com dot employee dot employee aop service employee service this is the employee service this is the class related to employee service so whatever the method available inside the employee service so for that it will execute before the method before executing the method it will execute and it will write log into log file okay while running the application this is the point where you need to execute this line of code using the joint point so this is called advisor 
and the same way it is after returning so once method is executed completely after that we need to write another information onto the logs in this case it will using the returning okay so in the returning result it is writing into the logs this is some kind of logging okay so apart from this there is another annotation using before after returning there is a after also and after rethrowing if you are getting any exception while running in the method this will write those logs and this is around this is around will use instead of using before and after you can use around also it will work completely at the end of starting of the method end of the method now we'll test this application i'll running this application now so it is connecting to h2 database and we'll go to the postman and we'll create the test case for this this is a controller so here is the api slash m5 and we'll use post api it will store uh, employee entry into the database we'll see this one now so here is the post mapping we need to pass request body as a employee object so go to the postman here i'm passing first name last name and email i'm not passing any id this id will auto generated and it will return that id okay so when you hit this api see it is returning the response employee id was inserted so you can check in the database level also here is our uh, database here is my h2 database and you can just uh, refresh this database so in the database employee id is created you can refresh from here also so employee id here is employees uh, table is created here you can run select start from employee and you can run so it will be giving one entry okay this is for inserting the employee and we'll insert one more employee Ejetic Java Ejetic at example.com. If you insert, see ID is two now. If you insert few more Ejetic full stack and insert here, ID is three. And you can just run this query one more time. So now three entries are available. Now we'll perform update before updating we'll do based on the id we'll do the one retrieve operation also here get employee by id passing id okay this is get mapping you can go through this postman you can just uh, duplicate this id then this is a post we need to save okay and this is the get and here in the get we'll perform based on the id okay so here i'm selecting this is the gate and you can copy that uh, url this is the api slash employee slash one you can give and hit this api see it is returning the response 201 id so i'm passing id is one then it is giving one now i'm passing id three it is giving three so like this this get api will work and we'll see all get apis once you can duplicate again this one and here instead of passing the id you can just you can call the employees okay this is also get only and you can hit this cpa now we can see the list of employees available in the database there are three employees is available so this is another get api to read all the employees now we will perform delete operation you can duplicate this change this uh, get to delete and we will give the employee id is one so now i am giving employee id is one this is delete operation and uh, there is no re request is one the request mapping and giving employee id is one and you can hit this uh, database there is no response from this but you can able to see that one in the gate you can insert this gate you can able to see the only available two and three because one is deleted from this one okay if you go with database and you can run this query also you can get the confirmation saying that two and three is available okay if you want to delete all the employees then you can create one more like duplicate and remove this id then it is pointing to that uh, employees and click on the send okay we don't have the delete all employees api so we have the 
get all employees get employees by id create employee and update employee there is no delete all employees okay try from your side to create the delete all employees api and try to test this functionality okay so now we are perform so many operations if you observed in the logs also so where these all the logs are created okay so if you see these logs see so employee dot config dot logging aspect it is create called this create employee create employee create employee and get employee by id get employee by id get all employees get all employees so all these logs are written into the log file okay so because we are not specified any logging uh, mechanism here using this lombard uh, lombard we are not mentioned anything in the specific in specific to inside the service class there is no log in here but we are added this logging mechanism using aop concept so here we are separating the uh, logging functionality from the business logic so in this case we need to concentrate on only the business logic this is one kind of cross cutting concern so like that here yeah, logging there is a few more cross cutting concerns one is for authentication and authorization and transaction management all these things also can separate it from your business logics like this we need to implement your aspect oriented programming methodology in the spring boot applications i will give you my medium page link also you can go through that you will get better idea on this aop concept i hope this video is helpful for you please like share comment and subscribe my channel thank you